So, yes, as you can see, that's exactly where it should be. On display, front and center, in this video. But now that we move past game one, that's one, uh, we're just gonna kind of reminisce on the fact that it's been a year. Like, a whole year. Actually, a little bit more than that. But let's just say a year to be fair, where a lot of you wasted it, like you wasted an entire year of life. I understand we all went through some very crazy things and we'll touch on the caveats and context where it's perfectly okay if you took a whole step back, but for some of you, it was just a wasted year. Also, sneaker of the year, let's talk about that because everyone is now screaming that the Amaman year three is not sneaker of the year. So what is then? I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. I'll take a hit and still finish and run. What's going on everybody? It's your girl TJ back with another video talks with TJ aka TJ Two Shoes Change. Thank you guys again so much for tuning in to another video. If you're brand new here, and you're into the NBA Finals, I also need to know who you're rooting for at this point. <laughs> hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, I truly appreciate it. Two Sush Crew, you guys already know what's going on here. We are Team Suns over here, because Devin Booker is my third favorite player, okay? You all should already know who one and two are, okay? If you don't, just take a look around my channel or on my page on Instagram at TalksOutWith.TJ. It should be evident. However, Booker is number three <laughs> in terms of favorite players. So, all in on the Suns to win this year. However, it's been a trying year. Like, I 100% get that. And when I say I need to add context here, there were some people that lost a lot. So, I'm not talking about those that lost uh, jobs or, or a means to provide for themselves and you were trying to just figure out how you were going to eat and take care of everything you need to take care of in terms of responsibilities like you were concerned about your family's health to the point where people were in the hospital and sick and and your mental health may have suffered as well because you were no longer in a routine or you weren't able to connect and you were just isolated and you felt alone I'm not talking to you that's you're totally absolved of this not what I'm talking about but for those that still had a means to do any and everything and you claim that oh if i just had time i could do so many things did you though because you were given a whole year to take care of so much and like so many people just squandered it and i'm seeing that because you know for a lot of people i don't necessarily see that they've like moved forward that they took advantage of the year some did I've seen some people start whole businesses during the pandemic and it's now not only another sustained form of income for themselves, but it could be like a whole powerful movement for their life, which is great. And whatever it is that they're doing, I don't even care what it is, whatever it is that they're doing, but there are some that just didn't take advantage. And, and now that life is somewhat returning to normal, you're going to have a lot of the, the grace of, being able to slow down removed away from you and i just wish more would have taken advantage of the fact that if you were trying to let's say i don't know like get healthier like you may have had the chance to uh hone in on not going out as much necessarily so you could stay home and you could you know cook healthier or move a little bit more get outside because goodness knows you weren't doing anything else <laughs> or it could have been also that you wanted to tap into creativity a little more well we all had time for that and there were a lot of creatives on Instagram and YouTube and TikTok and everywhere that proved you just needed to ta you needed to just take advantage. You needed to go all in on the creativity, even if it wasn't maybe the manner in which you were used to. A lot of us had to be quite creative. I mean, you guys saw that also on Sneaker YouTube where like people weren't able to get shoes. You saw a lot of lists, a lot of top five lists, a lot of top ten lists. And I saw the comments of some of you weren't that happy about it. You just think you're tired of it quickly. But I would say also give creators grace because they have to do something to keep consistent content in front of you. So just be mindful of that if you're not a creator. Like this is not the easiest job. Um, so some of you, this was your opportunity to 
go all in on being creative or try something different or a lot of you did start a channel which is awesome and in starting that channel maybe some of you were like hey i have aspirations of wanting to work with brands because i that's usually the natural progression of what happens and i don't blame you especially if it's a brand you like you and the owners connect and they have great quality product and that's a really good segue right into the sponsor of today's video sole premise so if some of you may have uh decided to finally purchase one of those bags because you're like listen i'm gonna be at these events okay maybe maybe i wasn't present in the past but i will be for future sneaker count events because now i cherish them so much more than before uh, maybe you just knew that as soon as the world opened back up you were traveling and you were going to travel in style with all the pairs that you bought during lockdown that you haven't been able to undead stock in a lot of you have a lot of pairs that you need to undead stock. So please do that. Like experience life with the pairs that you have because trying to get new pairs is a little bit difficult. But, you know, you have the option of packing your soul premise bag, hitting up a sneaker con that may have been announced, going to visit friends, family, trips, games, whatever it is this summer. Do it. Enjoy yourself. We've all been locked down for a year. So enjoy yourself and take the chance if you want to work with brands show that there is value in working with you and that may happen for you um so also keep that in mind if you have aspirations of wanting to work with brands but we had this whole year and people did nothing with it same thing with like finances like i took the time to try and knock out as much student debt as possible and i'm still doing that right now and we don't know that we will get a extended forbearance period right like past september what if that doesn't happen and those loans kick back in. I know the running joke is, oh, I gave those loans to God and it's on, it's on the government to figure out now. Yeah, unless you have federal and they could possibly start garnishing wages or your tax returns. There's just a lot that could go into that. And I wouldn't want you to default because that doesn't look good on your credit either. So keep that in mind too, if that's the route you want to go. Like maybe a come to jesus moment is needed like you're just gonna have to own up to those responsibilities as terrible as they are if you can take care of them make a plan to knock them out so you're paying less interest and that money stays with you because that is the point for me tackling these student loans over the last year i want that freedom because freedom gives you options and when you don't have a liability hanging over your head that gives you an option so uh, just that, that that's just what I have to say on the subject for the last year and in terms of options Okay, so there there we still have a lot of options of shoes that are coming out for the rest of 2021 Yes, I put in uh, for the raffle for the Union 4 I put in for topaz because I feel like that's the better colorway I don't know if I hit or not. I don't know the results and I probably won't know by the time I start editing this I'll just be honest with you But uh, you know there are there's talk that oh how dare the Amma Manier 3 be sneaker of the year so i'm just curious what is sneaker of the year then if that isn't what sneaker of the year the trophy room one is certainly not sneaker of the year are, are, are people gonna say that this is sneaker of the year are people gonna say that the the university blue one is sneaker of the year like what's sneaker of the year i'm curious now i need to know uh, because people are saying, well, it can't be the three the three just has a good story behind it good quality materials in a good color way isn't that what leads to sneaker of the year isn't that quote unquote what you all said for the dr1 that oh it had good quality materials and it was a good collaboration and not really it was just kind of a bland collaboration but people hyped it up because of the cost like that was associated then with this really stiff looking jordan one so what is sneaker of the year then okay i know we still have rest the rest of june through December of 2021, fully aware of that. So then what is your sneaker of the year? Like that's something you absolutely need to sound off in the comments about. What is sneaker of the year? Okay, as Ryan would say, I'll never back down. What is the word on the street? Okay, <laughs> let me know. Uh, Cause it's sneaker of the year for me and I don't see anything else that's actually close to it. Maybe the, 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 what the, what the Paul Rodriguez, like the SB dunk low, but outside of that, like what else is going to be sneaker of the year? Please sound off. All right. So do something with your life. Truly that actually used to be 
the intro to my videos a very long time ago. If you're still around from that, wow. But that used to be the intro to my videos really long time ago. You get bonus points if you know what song that's from too, but just do something with your life. Honestly, like don't let another year pass you by that you don't just take the jump and do whatever it is that you wanna do. Whether it's creating content around shoes, um, anything else that you're passionate about, freeing yourself financially, getting in better shape. I don't care what it is, okay? Just put yourself first. All right, so that's it. It's our life talk for the day, starting off on a Monday. As always, act your age, not your shoe size. Peace out.